Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Devin Howard. We have a lot of tea to get into today. We're talking about Kendall Jenner clapping back to Bella Hadid dating rumors, uh, Takashi 69's girlfriend calling Offset out for lying about the DMs, mm -hmm. and Justin Bieber's leaked song. But first, we got some fresh Kourtney Kardashian tea. Yes. Devin, I can't wait to hear what you think about this. Okay. It's very interesting. Okay, let's hear it. So TMZ reports that Kourtney Kardashian and Eunice Benjama we're seen partying together in Miami until around 2 a.m. Okay. An eyewitness said they looked very much like a couple. They were talking, laughing, enjoying the music. Okay. Uh, they also reportedly looked like they were avoiding being seen together. Huh. Thoughts on that? Okay, I well, I believe that they could definitely be entertaining the idea mm -hmm. that they're getting back together. I think we when they broke up and then Courtney had her wasn't it her birthday party? Mm -hmm. And he was there and they were reportedly not together. I mean, I don't feel like this relationship ever really died. Right, and we have heard of them being seen multiple places together since they have broken up. We know yeah. that they're on good terms, like they're very cordial with one another. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like if you're kind of weaving and ducking and you don't want people to see you, to me, that is a little more evident that something might be going on. Oh yeah, definitely. I can, I can definitely agree with you on that one. And I also feel like if they are in a relationship or dating and they don't want people to find out, do we've seen so many couples pop up out of nowhere mm -hmm. and they're like, we've been together for a year, or we're engaged right. or whatever. Be be more discreet about mm -hmm. it then. Don't be like ducking and making it obvious. And they were in the, we know that Courtney was definitely in Miami, of course, the whole Kendall thing. But yeah, yeah I agree. I think this is definitely something to keep an eye on. I think that the potential for a reconciliation is definitely there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe around the holidays, it will kind of become clear. Yeah. Um, you know, Scott has definitely moved on with Sophia. I feel like he spent Thanksgiving with her, so I feel like maybe Courtney now is kind of getting in that spirit of like, I do want to be back with Eunice. Yeah, she's experiencing cuffing season. That's true, <laughs> that is true. I don't know though, I feel like she still needs someone a little older, a little, more mature, but for some reason she always goes back to Eunice. Yeah, Eunice is very young, mm -hmm. especially to be dating a woman who has three children. It's yep. kind of weird, but Apparently, whatever. Apparently there's something there because he is the only one that she's really sustained a relationship with since Scott. That's true. So we're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on that, but in the meantime, let's talk about Kendall Jenner. Okay, let's do uh, it. I was gonna say, but first, but no, it's in the meantime. In the meantime. In the meantime, <laughs> Kendall, you guys, was caught straddling Bella Hadid while they were laying out in Miami. Apparently, everyone's going to Miami this winter yeah, season. Yeah, I've noticed that. For some reason, we're not there. I we know. didn't get the invite. We Rude. didn't get the invite. Rude. It's for Art Basel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why. <laughs> but I'm just like, everyone is in freaking Miami. I'm so jealous. <laughs> uh, but yes, you guys, Kendall and Bella, this picture has started to go around. People are freaking out about it. And of course, the theory started up again that they are dating. Okay. Kendall has had her sexuality questioned more than once. Mm -hmm. She addressed it to Vogue last year, saying that she flat out is not gay. She wouldn't hide that. Um, on the morning tea, you know, some of the tea tribe were letting us know that the weekend has alluded to the fact that Bella's bisexual. Okay. So I think when this picture came up, people definitely took it and ran with it. Okay, so I have been thinking about this photo a lot ever since we talked about it on the morning tea, just because um, to me it looks very staged. Mm -hmm. They're both dressed to the nines in like kind of wild little bikini outfits, you know very what I mean? skimpy, if you will. Skimpy, like with <laughs> denim jeans. Like mm -hmm. It looks like it's for a photo shoot. And then we saw some people in the tea tribe saying that they did see photographers like 10 feet behind them, which mm -hmm. could be paparazzi, but they to me- They could have called the paparazzi. There's I, a lot. I think though it's a hired, I think it was a professional photo shoot. That's meant to look like, yeah. oh, they just got caught messing, like, yeah. joking around. That's what I think. I definitely don't think they're dating. Yeah. I think that it was just a playful moment that unfortunately plays into a narrative that Kendall has dealt with for the majority of her adult life. Yeah. Um, but I really don't think anything's going on. And she did take to Instagram to kind of clap back and clarify her relationship with Bella. Uh, she posted a slew of Instagram pictures from Miami and she wrote, friends, and Bella commented on it. Fi was in one of the pictures, who is the guy that Kendall's kind of been linked to mm -hmm. intermittently since Justin and uh, Haley's wedding, and then Courtney is also there too, which makes sense why she was partying with Eunice at a club in Miami. Yeah. Um, I just think that 
people probably took this a little far out of proportion. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? I agree. And also, if Kendall actually is gay, mm -hmm. she has she can come out. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, right. I can't be her fan anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're in such an accepting era, at least I like to think we are. Right. Um, and I don't think that Kendall would face any backlash. I agree. And the fact that she has addressed it before, I feel like we kind of have to respect that and move yeah. on from it. And it's just unfortunate that this picture played into it, but I feel like she said it, she's addressed it. We just need to take it for what it is and two friends messing around. Yeah, they're just having fun. Yes. Again, <laughs> like I said on the morning tea, I wouldn't do, like I feel like I've never been in that position, but you know what? If it was for a shoot, that makes even more sense to me. I have girlfriends who are very, very touchy-feely with <laughs> so one they're another. Like ready to, so it this happens. to me is like, yeah, they're friends. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Okay, let's talk about this Cardi B and Offset situation. Because it's very interesting. Yeah, and it there's is. There's more things happening. So, you guys know Takashi 6 ix girlfriend, Jade, posted this video showing that Offset DM'd her. Mm -hmm. And then Offset and Cardi both responded and were like, look, his accounts were hacked. Well, now Jade is calling BS on that hacking story. Mm -hmm. um, she posted on her Instagram story a little message saying, the hack started after you got exposed, why it didn't start at 1 a.m. She added a bunch of crying laughing emojis. So she's saying mm -hmm. the timeline's not adding up. Yeah. People on Twitter overwhelmingly feel like Offset's also lying. What do we think's happening here? You know what I think. I think Offset is lying. Yeah. I think that he for sure went and slid into Jade's DMs. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's been this upstanding guy for the, the entire time he's yeah. been with Cardi. He's done some shady stuff mm -hmm. before, so why not again? And we also know that him and Jade definitely have a connection. Mm -hmm. She's one of the bartenders who's suing Cardi B in this New York strip club case, and the whole reason why they claim Cardi, you know, incited an attack on them is because Jade had allegedly relations with Offset. So yeah. I feel like it's very interesting and I feel like we've seen a lot of celebrity hacks and typically they will be posting random things on the grid, mm -hmm. they'll be posting things on the story. And the only thing that came of Offset's Instagram hack was this DM. Yeah. Yes, his Twitter had some more things, like there were tweets that were saying he's gay and just some <laughs> wild things, I guess, that he wouldn't normally say. Yeah. But as far as his Instagram hack, the thing that confuses me is the only thing this hacker did was DM Jade, of all people. Yeah, like, where's the free iPhone mm -hmm. click here? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like it's that. Yeah. very, very obvious. So I don't know what's going on, but I know that Cardi B will probably address this again. Um, I feel like she's going to post something on Instagram or Twitter, post, delete, whatever. Of course. But I definitely think they're going to have to address this because everyone thinks he's lying. Yeah. I do have to say the one thing that makes me think Offset might be telling the truth is the fact that Cardi was so quick to jump to his defense. But I mentioned this on, on the morning tea. Offset could just be fooling her, mm -hmm. you know, just as much as he's fooling everyone right. else, or maybe Cardi's just protecting herself from being humiliated again mm -hmm. by a man who is betraying her. Either way, they're definitely having conversations about this behind closed doors. Oh yeah. I, at least I believe that. Yes. Because this isn't going away anytime soon, and we know Jade in her original post did say, I have more information that I could give. I wanna know what that is. I'm waiting for that time, so I feel like there might be even more than just this DM. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about Justin Bieber, you guys, because a yeah. lot of hoopla is going down on the internet because of a potential new Justin Bieber song that leaked. Um, there's a couple different titles going around, but the one we're seeing the most is Don't Go Too Far. It's supposed to be from JB5. People are saying it got leaked because it was actually rejected from his new album. Which is pretty crazy because we've been listening to it since yeah. it got leaked and it's really good. It's really good. Like this is the kind of thing we've been hoping yes. Justin would release. Like a really, really great song, a really great agree. Yeah, a really great like album of songs. Mm -hmm. And so if this one is not on it, that just means every other song that's on there has to be phenomenal. The bar is set really high. Really, really high. Really high. The lyrics are clear, it's about Haley. Um, he's saying things like, now that I made you mine, I gotta make sure you're always mine. Where are you going? Don't go far, love. Blessing sent to me, that's what you are. So I feel like some of the teacher members were like, Haley, release this so, you know, yeah. Justin's thinking about her. I feel like this is just a great kind of tease for what's coming. I think it's gonna be great. Scooter Braun confirmed that Justin's new era is kicking off in 2020. Um, the only 
slight potential issue with that as Selena's also is coming in 2020, January 10th. Yeah. So hopefully there's no overlapping because I feel like just from this leaked song, we know it's gonna be really great. It's gonna be really great. I think we can 100% expect some overlapping. I think that's just gonna be Scooter's MO, Justin's mm -hmm. MO, like it's gonna happen. And it sucks for Selena, but hey, the fans. It sucks for Haley too. Yeah, it does suck for Haley because she's gonna get dragged into whatever mm -hmm. that narrative ends up being. But as fans, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited happens, about it. Yeah. Like, and hopefully Justin, like this song is very clear really about Haley. Hopefully whatever he puts out, if it is around the time of Selena, yeah. it's very clear about Haley and can't be interpreted any other way just to kind of help calm that down. Yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, you guys, it's time to let us know what you're thinking. What was your reaction to Courtney and Eunice reportedly partying together in Miami? Also, what are your thoughts on that whole Kendall straddling Bella situation? We're making a mountain out of a molehill with yeah. that one. What do you guys think about Jade's claim that Offset is lying about his accounts getting hacked? Do you really think he's just trying to cover his tracks? I'm starting to think that way. And <laughs> what are your thoughts on the leaked Justin Bieber song? Are you counting down the days until JB5? You guys, let it out down below. Don't forget to tune into the morning tea tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. In the meantime, shop the Holly Scoop store, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.